Hi, today I'm going to explain the meaning of reconciliation accounts and the special general ledger indicators. Then I'm going to demonstrate how to configure and use both of them on SAP S4HANA. At the end of every month, the accountants are asked to provide the balance sheet, which is a statement that reports the different balances of accounts we have in our company. One of the accounts that we have to provide in the balance sheet is the accounts payable account, which is the total amount of money we owe to different vendors. And how do we get to this amount? Now let's assume that we have five suppliers. So we have to go to each supplier and we have to check how much money we owe to each of them. Then we are going to add the balances together to get to the total amount of the accounts payable. So the accounts payable account is a reconciliation account. Because as you see, it reconciles the total balances of all the vendors we have. And also the vendors are called the accounts payable subledger because they are all considered parts of the accounts payable reconciliation account. Now, each vendor has to be assigned to a reconciliation account. So this way, we guarantee that whenever we post a transaction to the vendor, such as an invoice or a payment or any other transaction, it automatically also goes to the accounts payable reconciliation account so this way you never have a difference between the balances of your vendors and the balance of your accounts payable account so in most of the companies you are going to find several reconciliation accounts for payables so usually you have local uh, vendors and you have foreign vendors you can also have other reconciliation accounts so for each vendor we have to assign one reconciliation account now I'm going to demonstrate how to use this process in SAP S4HANA. So I'm going to explain how to create the reconciliation account and how to assign the account to a supplier. Then I'm going to explain a financial entry so we can all see how the entry is posted to the reconciliation account and also to the vendor at the same time. I am going to start by displaying the supplier master data so we can see the reconciliation account assigned to the supplier. So I'm going to go to Accounting, Financial Accounting, Accounts Payable, Master Records, Display. And I'm going to display this vendor. You can choose anyone, it's okay. And the company code is 1710. Then I'm going to select Accounting Information and hit Enter. Now, since I'm using SAP S4HANA, the transaction FK03 is not available anymore. So SAP automatically redirected me to the transaction BP, Business Partner. This is the one that is used in SAP S4HANA. And if you are using SAP ECC, you are going to access FK03. They are both the same for today's video. They are both the same. Both of them can display the reconciliation account in the company code uh, information. So now I'm using the transaction BP for S4HANA. And to display the company code information for this vendor, I'm going to select the rule FI supplier, FLVN00. Click here. Once you do this, you are going to find company code information at the top. Click on company code. And then here you can see the company code 1710. You can also select other company codes by clicking here. And then you have the reconciliation account. So this field is the same in SAP S4HANA or in SAP ECC, it is the same. The only thing different is the transaction we are using. So the reconciliation account for this vendor is 211 multiple zeros. I'm going to copy this number and I'm going to display the GL account so we can see how the reconciliation account is created. So open a new session. To display the general ledger master data, go to accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master records, GL accounts, Individual processing centrally FS00. I'm going to paste the GL account number here and hit enter. So this account is called Payables Domestic and it is a balance sheet account. If you go to the control data tab, this is a very important field which is the reconciliation account for account type. And here it says vendors. So this is how SAP knows that this is a reconciliation account for vendors. So whenever you create a vendor and you try to assign a reconciliation account, SAP will only display the GL accounts that are marked as a reconciliation account for vendors. 
And if you open this menu, you are going to find assets, customers, vendors, and contracts. I'm going to, to ignore contracts for now. So the main sub-ledgers we have in SAP are assets, customers, and vendors. Now, if I go back to the supplier again here, and if I try to open the reconciliation account box, SAP is only displaying these accounts. Why? Because these are the accounts marked as reconciliation account in FS00 in the general ledger master data. So this is how we create a reconciliation account and also how we assign it to the supplier. Now I'm going to post a payment to the supplier so we can see how the payment is going to be posted to the supplier reconciliation account and also to the supplier at the same time. So go back to the menu. Then go to document entry, outgoing payments, post. Now I'm going to post a payment to the supplier. So the date is 11.05.2018. The bank account I'm going to use is this one. You can click here to search for other accounts. This is a, a bank account that's used for outgoing payments. That's why I'm using it. Then I'm going to alter the value date same as the posting date the amount is 1000 for example and the vendor account is this one so this is the vendor account we are using then hit enter now i'm going to post the amount on the account of the vendor without clearing any invoices so i'm going to put it in the difference postings and hit enter then click on post very simple now i'm going to display this document document display and this is the financial entry we just posted so we have the bank cash payment credit for 1000 and the domestic us supplier debit for 1000 and if you check here we have the gl account number that we just selected and we have the vendor account number so now you know that we posted a debit to the vendor account for 1000 now if you click here on general ledger view now we can see the general ledger view for this entry and the general ledger view is going to display the reconciliation account for the vendor so we still have the same entry so we still have the credit bank cash payment for 1000 but in the debit we have the payables domestic which is this account why do we have this because it is assigned to the vendor uh, master data as the reconciliation account and this is the definition of a reconciliation account so this happens immediately, there is no reconciliation needed, which means once you post an entry to the vendor, it is automatically also posted to the reconciliation account as you see. And now you know how to create the reconciliation account, how to assign it to the vendor, and this is an example for the financial entries where you can see the reconciliation account and the vendor numbers. In the second part of this video, I'm going to explain the special general ledger indicators, and I'm also going to demonstrate how they are used on SAP, this will be posted in a separate video. Thank you for watching and please be sure to check the other one for the special general ledger indicators. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow me on LinkedIn, and also help me by sharing the videos so other people can find them.